Well, joining me now to discuss the situation in Greece and beyond is the man hailed as father of the euro. Robert Mundell is a Nobel laureate and economist at Columbia University. Mr. Mundell, first of all, welcome to the programme. Um, the, uh, the Greek government has been voicing its concern about speculators. Speculators, though, are, are they surely a symptom rather than the cause of this problem? Well, I think it's a big problem for uh, Greece because, uh, because of speculation. Uh, the uh, interest rate on Greek debt has gone to a big uh, premium, and that's uh, creating a big problem for financing the, the Greek debt. Now, we've heard um, a lot of talk about the uh, a European monetary fund to be set up. Um, is this something that you think is necessary, and is it the way forward? Well, I, I don't know whether that's the right institutional arrangement for it, but uh, certainly there's got to be a new, uh, something that's going to put more teeth into what was previously the Growth and Stability Pact, because that was, didn't, wasn't strong enough and it wasn't working. I'm not sure that I would immediately jump ahead to create a new institution at this time. I think you need to find, um, um, find more informal ways of solving this problem. Remember, I don't think this is a, basically a Euro problem. This is a Greek financial problem, and uh, Greece is certainly going to need some help in it, and certainly is can get that help from, from the Eurozone, if not that from the IMF. But, uh, uh, but I don't think that you should uh, create uh, necessarily immediately a, a, a monetary fund, a separate monetary fund that would handle that problem. Now you mentioned there the IMF. Uh, the Greece's uh, government has mentioned they may need to go to the IMF. Is this a sort of a veiled threat that they're using to, uh, to get some more money out of Europe? Or do you think, is there any reason why they wouldn't bring the IMF in with all their expertise? Well, I, th I think Europe would like to solve this problem by itself, to show that it's sustainable by itself and that the IMF is an outsider in it. Uh, the IMF can be very useful in the process, and they have been very useful in the structuring and helping Greece to uh, provide technical assistance to show ways in which they can improve their budget situation and their debt situation. But I think it's better for uh, Europe to take on this responsibility by itself. I don't think that it would be a good idea for Greece to play off uh, uh, the IMF versus, uh, versus Europe help here. I think that it's better to do it within Europe. There is a danger, however, that uh, if there is a bailout, so to speak, and uh, German and French taxpayers feel that they are funding the Greeks, even in the short term, this may really put a lot of pressure on the credibility of the Eurozone. Well, well, the, 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 the two sides to it, that if, uh, the, if Europeans um, are, are too, uh, uh, too quick to respond to Greeks' uh, needs, uh, then uh, the Greek, Greece might not make, be forced to make the adjustment that it really ha does have to lead. It's been spending far too much and, and it's been using some of the equalization funds in the past to do things that just for general purposes, not for improving its whole infrastructure. So I think adjustment, a big adjustment has to be made in Greece. And once that's done, if that's done, then I think that the money will come from Europe. And uh, now, if, uh, if of course, uh, politics are such, if people start to play politics and, 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 and Greece decides to, uh, it wants to jump into the uh, IMF then I, and use that fund, that would be an outside source. But that would be a little bit like the IMF uh, coming in to uh, bail out California if California got into a problem or if New York got into a problem. And mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, the U.S. government wouldn't like that. No. Martin Feldstein has said that Greece shows that the Eurozone experiment, if you like, just doesn't work. As someone who's called the father of the Euro, how do you feel about that? I, I think it's completely wrong. I think, it, I think the, uh, the Euro is the best thing that's happened to Europe in the uh, process of its European after the common market. So in the common market, you've got this common currency among now 16 countries. It's a wonderful instrument. And uh, the problem right now, it's not the Euro problem. The Euro isn't creating the problem. The fact is that the governments have to balance their budgets. And uh, any, any government, the United States had that problem. The United States had the problem. Some people don't f forget the fact that in um, 
in the 1840s, uh, uh, Americans couldn't walk down the streets of London because so many of the, de of the states had defaulted on the debts. It created a terrible problem. But uh, in, in, nobody wants that to happen in Greece and in, in, in Europe, and I don't think it's going to happen in this case. But I think you've got to have goodwill on both uh, the, the part of Greece and then the part of uh, uh, Europe, and they will, they will handle the problem. Uh, I think that at best, uh, the IMF can be thought of as a, as the, uh, a background thing that if uh, the lender of last resort, if nothing else worked. Mr. Munter, just before you go briefly, um, you say that uh, Italy is actually possibly a bigger problem than Greece. Well, uh, it's, Greece has, has uh, uh, Italy has five times, is five times the size of Italy, of, of, of Greece, and it's got uh, more than five times the size of debt. So uh, the, if, if uh, Greece got into difficulties, or if Italy got into difficulties, that would create big problems for the euro. So. Okay, Mr. Mundell, thank you very much indeed.